Hello, uh, it's Sunday, it's sort of almost lunchtime. Uh, I've got Sunday lunch waiting for me, hence the cycle helmet. I am doing a cycling version of a Shard of Tour recce, so where do we start for the Shard of Tour? Well, it's where we've always started. Can flip the damn camera. Over there at the Maypole pub, which does not actually feature in Sharda, but is just a convenient meeting place before we head off on the tour itself. So um, I'm just going to finish this one now and uh, we will head off to the actual starting point for the tour. Well, here we are in uh, Portugal Street. I'll just flip the camera around. In front of us there is St John's College Chapel and uh, well this is the start of the uh, tour proper because uh, this is uh, where the doctor cycled not necessarily legally oh, I do believe I'm about to do that myself so I'll see you in a couple of minutes and by that time I'll be quite near to St John's College Chapel well, this is um, busy St John Street, tourist central we should call it, those of us locals. Uh, just behind me there is uh, the Round Church, and uh, if we flip the camera on, there is the aforementioned St John's College Chapel. And so the tour continues along here, and um, <laughs> well, I'll see you next, uh, in a few minutes time, possibly on a bridge if I can get to it. Now it's just as well we'll be on foot for the Sharda tour because this is the point where it becomes very fiddly to do by bike. I'm on Garrett Hostel Lane. Uh, I thought I'd better come down here because the other end... In front of us here is the bridge where the Doctor has a confrontation with, um, with Skagra. Uh, the other end of Garrett Hostel Lane where it leads up to a main road, Queen's Road, that is currently closed. I thought I'd better come down here just to check whether it is actually open at this end. Thankfully it is. Uh, now, a year ago, uh, those of us who came on the tour included um, Karen from Staggering Stories, and on that bridge, she invented a new pastime. I, probably pastime is probably better than name for it than sport. I think the best name for it would be simply punt watching, because uh, you get to see these people who've never driven a punt in their life and watch and see whether they're going to fall in and see how wobbly they are on the river and all sorts of things like that. Much fun was had by all so uh, we'll try and we'll definitely try and squeeze in a trip down here again. So uh, I'll next see you um, somewhere up on King's Parade I think. Well, hello again from King's Parade, uh, as the uh, clock of um, Great St Mary's just behind me strikes in the day. We get to very much tourist central. Uh, there is um, King's College Chapel. Just behind me is the Senate House. Now, formerly well known for, well, important things in Cambridge University life, like um, graduations, but now very well known because that's where they held one of the um, election debates um, back in the early part of this summer. So, uh, thankfully... Thankfully now my cycling gets a little bit easier because the tourists actually do have to compete with the traffic. Slightly. So, um, I'll see you in a few minutes time from the other end of King's Parade. Well, this is both a tourist hotspot and, um, well, as you can see behind me, a bit of a traffic hotspot too. Um, just had a fire engine go past over there. This is uh, where the uh, gigantic um, scary monster clock is. Hi, Shig. Um, so, yeah, won't hang around here for long because it's very busy with tourists. And uh, it's just... Um, Got one more thing to show you on uh, King's Parade, and uh, then we start getting uh, to what I call the loop round part of the tour. 
so here we are at the uh, start of Bottle Lane. Ooh, look, a man with a very impressive lens on his camera. Um, well, the end of Bottle Lane, if you're me heading towards your other job at lunchtime. And I'd better get off the road because there's a lot of bikes whiz down here. Uh, this is the road I whiz down every lunchtime to my other job. But uh, the doctor, of course, whizzed down it in this direction. Being, you know, he wasn't being chased by Skagra's ball at that point, I don't think, but uh, it was uh, certainly the start of the chase scene. So, um, there's not a huge amount more to show you now, so it'll be several more minutes before I post another video, but uh, uh, that one will be about uh, uh, the end of the tour, so I'll see you then. Well, hello, it is a few minutes later. I was rather unsuccessful in what I wanted to do down the town, but it can wait till tomorrow. So much for thinking, oh, I'll just park up and go in Marks and Spencer's for a few minutes, and then you hit one of those ridiculously long queues. So, uh, I am in an alleyway. Very important alleyway. Uh, this is the TARDIS landing site, or one of them, in Sharda. Over there, and you see this in the clip that's used in the Five Doctors quite distinctively, is uh, where the TARDIS is landed by Romana and saves uh, the Doctor uh, in a very tense cliffhanger scene um, from his, his escaping from Skagra's sphere. Now, this is a little bit of an iffy thing to show people on the day of the tour next weekend because uh, you see that? That's a restaurant. All this area, from like the restaurant to the back of the car park, these days is privately owned land. Now, it wasn't in 1979 when they shot Sharda, so they could just wander over there and shoot bits of TV that were, well, were meant to be on a few months later, and it was no issue. But, uh, no, it's not that easy anymore so depending on how many of us come on the day will depend on how far up this alleyway we get but um, so yeah that is the TARDIS landing site and that's pretty much the end of the tour apart from right behind me just here is the Miser pub where of course we will head in for a drink So that's it. Uh, that's the recce for the, tar the Sharda tour. I've probably done it in record time because I do have to whiz home and have lunch and it's salmon and Dad who's cooking it is a bit kind of like, oh well you can cook your own. I mean right now there is someone from the restaurant lingering. Oh no he's gone in now. But there was someone from the restaurant just lingering as if to say Ooh, well, I hope they're not walking on our private land. Well, I'm not. I'm not. I'm on the pub's land, not your restaurant land. So, um, as I said at the beginning, the tour starts uh, next weekend, uh, next Saturday. Uh, people will gather at the Maple Pub at 2 p.m. and hopefully I'll be on time to show up and show you around. Bye bye. What did you say? Bye-bye.